Can oh, yeah. you blame someone for not being an expert in a particular thing? Right? And that's where, like, I, like, is there responsibility? Yeah, but we should also be mindful of what these people's expertises are. Right? Like, because like, I, I, I don't even know, like, I don't know how to say this, but there's just, so here's the thing, is, like, there are organizations out there right? That like have approached us, right? And they're like shady mofos, shady, shady mofos. But if I didn't know, like I literally had to go to medical school. So we'll get approached by a particular company and they'll be like, Hey, we'd love you to sponsor this thing. I'll be like, show me the research. They'll be like, we've got a PowerPoint. I'm like a PowerPoint is not research. Show me the research. What's the methodology of your study? Did you use paired t-tests for your analysis or an ANOVA? Oh, very interesting. You guys tested 45 things, but you didn't use an ANOVA analysis. That's shady, 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 McShady. Do y'all even, like, but people don't even know what an ANOVA analysis is. And even then, even with all of our expertise, eventually someone is going to trick us too. Because we are not omniscient. And neither are other streamers. So is there some degree of responsibility? Yeah. But also, like, what do you expect them to know? Even if this is gambling, like, what about all kinds of other stuff? If someone starts, you know, sponsoring, like, a particular cosmetic, or someone starts spo sponsoring a particular supplement, or someone starts sponsoring... What is an ANOVA? Another variant, sir? Raid Shadow Legends. Yo, 27 right? like, months what are we? Here. What's the expectation of expertise by a streamer? No. And it doesn't just end with them. It's also... I... Your mole compass should be Twitter, Andes, and Reddit. If you do something, if it's bad, it's bad. Or Twitter. That's it. Hate to break this to you. That's where the world goes. It's the NPC way of the world, man. If this says something, that's what you should have done. NPC, 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 NPC. On the so parents. It is. It's on the parents. Because if you're talking about the behavior of a child, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I really think the first response. He's saying I have low, he's saying I have low IQ. That's good. I love that. Which means that I shouldn't be. I should be giving a little bit of leeway when I, when I try to do a high IQ check because my brain is in, is in capacity to do that. My brain is Spark too slow to do certain things and probably certain things, my brain. And it's okay. Responsibility well, the, of, the first person who is responsible for a child is the parent. Now, does that mean they're solely responsible? No, because as we've said, they're literally like billion dollar corporations that are developing and A-B testing loot boxes so that your kid is addicted to a video game. It's an uphill battle for parents. But we can point the finger as much as we want to, to like Twitch or a particular streamer or whatever. But like at the end of the day, I recently heard about a kid who spent $20,000 doing some kind of online activity. If your kid has $20,000 to spend, that's a fucking problem. You fail as a parent. Hey, what was that? What was the timestamp? 43? I can't look at naked people. What if he works? Yeah, that, that, that's a problem. Gotta click that button. Right? Whereas if you want to, if you wanted to get access to pornography. What if it works? Yes. That's a problem. But your, your kid, 10, 8, 12, should not be in a workplace working a real job. What the fuck is your problem? Are you fucking smoking crack, you dumb fuck? What is wrong with this chat, man? What? Be 50 years ago, there was kind of a limit on that, right? Like maybe someone would have sold you a ton of the parents don't know. That's a problem, right? That's maybe not the parents' fault. Maybe it is. Why don't you know what's going on in your kid's life? He said your kid, your child. Like what? Nobody says your kid, your child, when the guy's like 16, 15. Nobody says that shit anymore. 
Is there anything that a parent can do to be more aware of what's going on in their kid's life? Absolutely. And then the last responsibility. Oh man, this chat. This is, is the one that people dumb. dislike the most. I can't. Everyone's like, yeah, me, me. The last responsibility is right here. The moment we surrender our individual responsibility for anything, we've lost something very valuable. Right? So if you're gambling, you're like, I'm in this situation because of y'all. Someone else should have saved me. I mean, I get it, right? Because it's like, it's an uphill battle for you too. But honestly, if we want to fix this problem, like most problems, is there it's not just pointing the finger at one I person. Always like what you hear, and this is the real challenge the with these situations is that everyone's to blame, so bed no one is responsible. Rank tomorrow? Uh, well, I'm not going to go to bed. I got the thing up on that. True. I want to play Colin I've been up that, fucking all night already, though. Right? Oh, fuck. The gambling um, industry looks at this person. Where are you playing Cotsmar? The government looks at that person. Parents point to Twitch. It's not all the parents' fault. Yeah, you know, you're wrong. So it's a, bit, a, lot, a lot of the parents' fault and a little bit of the kids' fault. And a little bit of the product of its environment and its society. But even then, making the problem about society is brain dead as fuck. Streamers point to Twitch. Twitch points to streamers. Yeah, I want to do tomorrow. People, parents tomorrow. point to streamers. You're tomorrow? Yeah, I'll put the Everyone's both, like yeah. pointing the finger. Okay, let's right. Let's just. I'm, I need to sleep. I'm just super tired. So I've been up for a long time already. And then about whenever if we're both on tomorrow, like, we can just play. Do? Okay, I'll put it tomorrow then. I 